Don't just talk. Let's walk and practice and make our life every day better. So, what are the three person that influence you in your life right now? Because I think over the time we change a little bit, right? We grow and we change and we be influenced by a lot more people. But right now, what is the three most influence in your life, and why? Ah, uh, okay. These three people, person that is that has the most influence in my life, actually, uh, there are there are three that consistently there that never change, right? Yeah, like yeah, I agree with you. There are different other people in my life that has uh, influence over my life, but um, these three that I'm going to mention, they don't, they they are consistent. They're yeah. consistent throughout, and they are the very important people in my life. Yeah. Uh, first person is definitely God, right? Mm. Because uh, he is my source. He is my creator. Without him. That it wouldn't even be me, yes, <laughs> to come into existence at all. So mm. that's the the most 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 important person, right? And I have a relationship with him. You know, I communicate with him every day. Yeah, yeah. And the second person would be my husband. Mm. So he's also like a mentor to me, right? Um. I mean, he like you said, we learn from each other, and every yes. one of us has our own different mm. perspective in life. And yeah, so over the years, he has also um, become like a mentor to me. Yes. Yeah. So he he has a lot of influence on me. <laughs> yeah, and lastly, are my two children, mm. my two babies. Uh, you know, my two darlings. Um. What is very comforting for me and encouraging for me to hear is when they tell me and or when I hear them telling other people that, oh, my mom is like a mentor to me. You know, wow, my mom is amazing. my best friend. You know, when my girl tell me that, you know, she told her friend that my, because you know when I there's one time I call her to when she's living in the hall right now in, in the university. Yeah. So you know we had some. Secret lah, yes. and then so so she was like telling me, and then her girl, her friend was in her in her room and was like, "Is that your mom?" She said, "Yeah." Why are you telling your mom that? <laughs> then she was like, "My mom is my best friend. She will be the first person that I would tell her." Yeah. So it is very heartwarming. Yes, I know. That. Yeah, that you know, at her age, because she's nineteen. So I hear a lot of stories. I mean, a lot of uh, feedback out there that you know their children, their teenagers are not talking to them. You know, they yep. don't know what's happening in their lives. So when I hear that, and then when I hear my boy say that, you know, I'm I'm like a man, I'm I'm his mentor. So I think that 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 is very encouraging, and they they definitely has a lot of influence in my life because because of them, I discover about myself. Yes, because of them, I want to be the best version of myself. So they are. I'm sure you will agree with this because I believe your yes. daughter is like your your motivation. You know. Yes, my it's, strength sometimes. The, <laughs> yes, and and you yeah. see, you know, looking at her, looking at our children, we we want to be the best version of ourselves for yeah. them, right? Yeah, yeah. Is yep. Is uh, <laughs> it's wonderful when I hear someone who are. With me, this is called okay. You may don't want to hear that word, but with me, this is already our happiness and joys as a mom. Am I right to say that? Like, we don't mm. we don't really need mm. our children as success as we think. They 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 think like, oh, I have so much pressure on my shoulder because I have to make my family proud. But um, the mom mom like you or the mom mom who are I feel like alive, where we're talking about communication that they are happy. They are willing to share the deeper secret with us. Is a more happy. I want to hear. Like I want more mom yeah. who come and say like, you know, my children tell me all the secret, and I was like, yeah, I I want to be that cool mom as well. You know, uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad up to now. Eva still share with me everything in school. You know everything. But yes, one day when she be nineteen, twenty one, like your children, 
I hope I still also hear the same, you know, like it's my mentor, it's my best friend. Whatever you want, like I don't want to be your mom forever. Please just treat me as <laughs> your friend <laughs> because if that's make us more close, if that's make me to be an important person that when you come to darkness and when you come to crisis in your life, you need my shoulder. I think that's what I also looking for as well. So uh, where can our audience and our listener can find more about you after this wonderful conversation with you? Well, they can uh, connect with me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or even the a link that I will send to you. Uh, yeah. You can, yeah, yeah, definitely. The link uh, tree I will link. put everything yeah. under description for you guys. But if you even mm-hmm. go to Facebook and type Woman of Courage Asian, you will see the fan base and you will see the group as well. And of course, if you book Lillian on, on Facebook, you also can find her. And definitely we'll book all the description below. My team will book everything under the description for you to can have more chance of combination with this amazing woman. Okay, so one Thank last you. question for you today. So if mm. one thing you would, could give yourself the advice five years from now, what's the advice you would give to yourself? Oh, five years down the yeah. road. Greater things are yet to come. Greater things are yet to be done. Yeah, just trust and obey. Be strong and courageous. For me, like I mentioned to you, uh, the scripture has always been the words that keep me going and help me. So one of the scriptures that uh, is is a is a proverb. It's a wise saying, you know, um, that I always stick to and I will remind myself five years down the road I'll still remind myself to trust in the Lord with all my heart lean not on my own understanding but in all my ways acknowledge him and he will direct my path yeah so yeah just for those of you who are all I mean this is what I will tell myself and then also San Francis of Assisi's uh, uh, quote is always very edifying he always I, and has helped me also and that is start by doing what is necessary then you do what is possible yes and suddenly you're doing the impossible yeah wonderful yeah thanks for the message because i i think most of our audience when come to my channel they're looking for positive they're looking for learn something that they can uh actually practice and apply immediately and uh with your belief and my belief we are i, I think we similar in value that walk and talk like you say just now like uh, that's what make yeah. a difference you know don't just talk let's walk and practice and make our life every day better and thanks uh lillian today to come with us and share amazing story of your life also your uh, coaching experience your leadership your motherhood and your <laughs> wife you know as a wife partner and the partner of uh, amazing marriage for last more than 25 years is it's a lot more that you guys can learn from Lillian, definitely. And uh, don't forget to reach out with her on the description below. And uh, I would love to see you guys in the next episode of Miss Me Podcast. Thank you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, Lillian. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Mm-hmm.